Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I have a 10 minute painting tutorial for you in just a moment, but first I do want to talk about my website, coreyfrankcreates.com. It's where you can find all the things I offer as an artist, in particular my art shop. Uh, so it's all linked there. I would love if you go and visit again, coreyfrankcreates.com. Okay, so this 10 minute painting tutorial is of a fish, so it's very loose brushwork. These 10 minute videos are just about getting paint and brush to paper and finishing something in a relatively short amount of time so you can feel that sense of accomplishment. So I'm going to talk about some of the process of what I do. If you want, you're welcome to follow along. Otherwise, feel free to just sit back and enjoy. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Oops, I accidentally bumped the camera at the beginning there, so sorry about that. Uh, so I'm starting out, as you can see, without any background sketch. It's just getting the watercolor on the paper, and that's the way all of my 10-minute paintings are. I am just doing very quick uh, work to get a complete painting done and not worrying about proportion or accuracy. All the paintings I do are representational, so hopefully by the end they look like some sort of figure or item or thing. Uh, but again, I'm not focusing on accuracy and proportion and um, hyper-realism, more just uh, the act of getting the paint on the paper. So I have a size, I believe this is a size 1, but it's much larger than most other round brushes. A lot of the time, a size one would be much, much smaller than this. This particular brand, you can see it's called Flydum, and it says one right there. It is a much larger brush, but it still comes to a very fine point, so you can get some fine details. And also, uh, you know, when you press harder, get larger areas that you fill in all at once. So that's the brush I'm using. And I started off with Ultramarine Blue and just blocking in the shapes of the fish and it's going to take quite a while before this actually starts looking recognizable as a fish if you do want to see the reference image i used it's linked in the description it's from unsplash.com they have copyright free photographs on there uh but uh you can go look at it yourself and and see what uh this lovely photographer the original capture so uh, but yeah, just kind of working, uh, trying to get some values of light and dark in there with the paint. So obviously like kind of at that top where the top sort of dorsal fin meets the back, I have it a little darker and then it gets a little lighter and kind of flowy in some other areas. So a lot of wet into wet technique at this stage where I'm just filling in the paint and then when I go over the top of already wet paint, it just flows into each other. It, the paint flows into each area really nicely and it, it creates more of a fluid look. And then it's later on when some of the paint has dried that I'll add a few more details over the top. Not too crazy with the detail though, because again, there's only a short amount of time that uh, we have with <laughs> just 10 minutes. These back fins are very loose and flowy, like all of them, the top and the tail fins and the um, side fins, which I don't know the technical biological name for, so I apologize, but uh, you can tell I'm just really trying to block in the main area and give that sense of really loose flowiness uh, to this fish. It's very, it's a very um, kind of ethereal uh, look really that this fish has so I was trying to capture that and then also taking advantage of a little bit of texture there's there's kind of a ripply almost tissue paper texture to the fin so that's where um, letting some of the white of the paper show through there kind of helps with that a little bit with that kind of paper thin texture That is cadmium red medium, 
and the fish ha- is mostly blue, but it has bright pops of some red and reddish orange colors in there, which is a really lovely contrast. So, so putting that in there and a little bit that paint that I just put on there is a cadmium red light, which has some more orange tones to it. And again, I, uh, if I had been taking a little more time with it, I would have left those areas white rather than having them the light blue and painting over with the red on top of the blue. I would have maintained those areas so that um, the vibrancy of the red color would have shown a little more. But again, uh, just kind of blocking things in really quickly. I wasn't uh, looking for maintaining those white spaces to put the red over the top of. And uh, this final red is that you can see I was just working with is a Lidgeron Crimson. It's more of like a pinky red and uh, it just adds a lot of nice color. For the darker areas, I am using the Payne's Gray, which is like a very, very dark grayish blue and it, it adds a bit more depth to it, adding some of those lines, as you can tell, for some of that kind of rippled texture. The one spot, as you can tell, where I did maintain the white, because I really wanted that side fin to show up really well, was this spot where this where the side fin is because it was a very orangey red color so I did go ahead and paint around that as best I could so that it, it, the color would really pop and you can kind of tell that when it's the pure red paint against the white paper rather than the red paint over the light blue it just stands out a little more it's a little more vibrant so if you want that vibrancy you can take a little more time on the tail and back fins and maybe leave some of those white spaces so you can then fill them in later with the red. It's totally up to you. And again, if you if you want to do it in just 10 minutes, this may be the way you do it. Uh, but other than that, like if you want to extend it to maybe a 15, 20 minute painting, maybe even a 30 minute painting, because that's still in the grand scheme of things in the time of a day, not too much time, you can just be a little more careful about it. Or you could even start with a very light under sketch and then paint over the top if you want things to be a little more accurate. That's the beauty of these exercises and doing these things. You can scale it to whatever works best for you. It might actually be looking a little bit like a fish right now. I'm currently working on the eye. I used Payne's Gray for that darkest part of the eye, and then some of the ultramarine blue and Payne's Gray kind of watered down for sort of the outlines around the eye. And now I am starting to fill in, <clears throat> pardon me, the front part of the fish's face. So it is really starting to come together a little more now. And it just like, looks like this very ethereal, uh, bright colored water being, basically. <laughs> So yeah, really not that much colors used in this. It was really just the ultramarine blue, it was the majority, and then cadmium red medium, as well as light, a little bit of a Lidzerin crimson, and then that Payne's gray. And that's those are really the only colors I used throughout this whole thing. The Payne's gray is where I add the shadowing. Uh, so some of those darker scales in there. And I am starting right now to put a little bit of that scale texture in there so that, so that it looks a little more like fish scales on the surface of the body. So I started out with the Payne's Gray and now I'm going in with some ultramarine blue and I'm more just kind of dabbing rather than drawing each individual scale just to give that suggestion of texture. You don't have to draw every or paint every single scale <laughs> that that would take a lot of time so this is more just kind of using that dabbing motion to create the uh, suggestion of texture. There were some more red streaks uh, so I did that with the cadmium red medium and then going in with more ultramarine blue to kind of darken up that 
area there on the bottom flowy fin or tail i think that's technically part of the tail it's almost going underneath the belly it's a very interesting fish really beautiful so i i may at some point go ahead and uh do this particular image with a longer painting just because i think it would be fun to explore uh, what it would look like with a much longer amount of time. So I have my toothbrush for the finishing touches, dipped it in the ultramarine blue to create some splatter, rinsed it off, and now I dipped it in the macadmium red medium for some of those color splashes and flecks and fun bits of color. And then finally, I'm going to use, this is a size zero brush. And again, it's much bigger than most zero brushes, but it still comes to a really fine point. As you can tell, I can get a decent looking signature here. So adding the signature as the final touch really. And then uh, that really was the 10 minutes. I went slightly over, maybe about 20 seconds over to finish off the signature, but ultimately it was a 10 minute painting and that's how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Until my next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. God bless and I'll see you soon.